what this is the deserves to be a best-selling author. And right this evening, I'm challenging us to make her a best-selling author. She has another book coming out in June, and it'll be our word of mouth, our passing on uh, what we've read in her other books that will make her the best-selling author. I'm telling you, you're going to hear some fantastic things about this. This is only the beginning, and she, she is even prophetic. She was talking about, you know those um, books that are on, um, not correct me if I'm wrong, please. So the books that Amazon has, the Kindle, mm -hmm. book on all that, that's in her book five years ago. That's in her book. Mm -hmm. I wonder where they got that idea from. You see, you see how close we got to her? You got to stay close and, and protect her, right? in her work. That's how we make it happen. And we can do this right tonight. We run out of books. She's long gone. <laughs> 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 we can get more. We can get more. We can help us to run out of books. We want to run out. So she can have a second printing and a third and fourth and tenth printing. That's how it happens. That's right. And you get to meet her tonight. Please put your hands together. Sister Dr. Nettie Okorafor. Now, what's interesting is that um, these people are 
they have they, they have a lot of African traditions. You know, they eat a goosey soup, for example, which is a Nigerian dish. They have a lot of things that you will recognize amongst black people. But also, they this world is technologically extremely advanced. Okay, and as in they have um, they have technologies that that are beyond ours. For example, they have cars that are run by plants. You know, they're run by electricity producing plants. Um, they'll have TV or they'll have computers that are grown from seeds. Now, mm -hmm. the, now the reason why the, the way I got this idea was from the stereotype of um, of black people being. Uh, considered primitive and therefore closer to the earth. So I took that stereotype and I used it. And in taking that stereotype and using it and creating these people, it, it became something real. So so that's just one small aspect of the story. Um, Zara is this this um, thirteen year old girl who lives in this world and one day she wakes up with her nose to the ceiling. And she doesn't know what what's happening. She's flat, she's she's levitating <coughs> off her bed. She has no idea what, what is what's happening. Now, um, eventually the story moves on, and we find you know stuff happens, um, and she she learns to fly. Now, where did I get the learning to fly part from? Can anyone anyone have any guesses that you can make with that? <laughs> Every child. No, nothing to do with our Kelly. Absolutely. <laughs> Every child. There is a there is a myth that the myth of the flying Africans. Um, there were these um, African peoples who, in my research, I, I found that these people were actually from the country of Nigeria, and they were Igbos, which was interesting. And um, Igbos were, for some reason, known for committing suicide also, rather than going, you know, being enslaved. But, okay, so that you had these slaves, or these African peoples who were enslaved, and they were taken. And they were taken to, I believe it was the coast of South Carolina. And it was believed that, there were two differing accounts of what happened when they got to, when they got there. Um, one account is that these um, these people, these these people who are enslaved, I don't like calling them slaves. Because, All right. Yeah. Um, so these people who are enslaved yes. were uh, were um, that they jumped off of the ship and committed suicide. That's one account. The other account is that these people flew. They flew off of the ship and they flew back to Africa. And so um, there are actual documented accounts, recordings of this of this event, and the, it, it, it kind of grew into the myth of the flying African. So I was doing research on that, and that just fascinated me. And then I thought about, um, you know, since I, I was born here, but my parents are, are Nigerian, and since I was very young, my parents have been taking me um, back to Nigeria to meet family and everything like that. And so I have a very close relationship to that interesting country of Nigeria. Now. Um, so I was doing research on this flying myth, right? And then, you know, at, at that time I went to, I traveled to Nigeria with my family and I was having this conversation with my uncle who, uh, it's, it's interesting, Nigerians are interesting, but I won't get into that. Uh, he, who was, in one breath he was saying, no, I'm a heathen because I have this, uh, I have a tattoo on my ankle um, that's, that's fashioned from a West African writing script. So he's calling me a heathen for that. And then, in the other hand, as I'm having this conversation with him, um, I said, you know, yeah, I'm researching the, these people who, who were, these Igbos who are believed to have flown back to Africa. Have you ever heard anything like that? He's like, no, I've never heard anything like that. But, you know, I, people who can fly, of course there are people who can fly. You know, he, he, he kind of treated that whole, um, the, the idea of flight as something that was normal. And so that stuck with me. And so uh, over the years, I just started writing these stories. And I had these, these people who were starting to just, just fly in them. And all of my stories, for some reason, have always taken place in, um, in Africa or a place like Africa, specifically Nigeria. So um, at some point, I started writing about a, a, this 13-year-old uh, girl named Zara who could fly. And um, she lived in this world that was very much like Nigeria. It, it was it was tribally split because Nigeria is is rocked with um, with tribalism. Um, so the people were very similar in that regard. So but she lived in one part of it, and um, and so yeah, that's where where Zara came from. Also, Zara came from my when when I was in Nigeria, I would just see the 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 girls 
being treated one way and then the boys being treated